people. I'm back with a all new V-Block. Now time to lose this. <laughs> I have got to remain freaky for my videos because it's called Freak Show Blocks for a reason. <laughs> and this in order to stay on topic, I wrote some notes for this video, anyways. Because it's the pros and cons of 2022. Um, so far, I still can go to the gym. So that's a good thing. I got my Apple Watch this year which is what I've been waiting for a long time and not having to wear a mask to go to places that's another plus um, and not having to deal with all this COVID crap that we had to deal with in 2020 and 2021 and a little bit of 2022 but good thing don't have to deal with that crap Pro, or the, the cons of this year is the constant job switching, getting fired twice, laid off, uh, especially towards Christmas, so that part sucks. And, well, the biggest the, uh, thing that hurt the most is how I got it fired from my job at Walmart because I thought it was going to be my reliable job and it turned out it wasn't because an issue with the customer. I'm not going to go into details because I don't want to. I'm not comfortable with sharing that on my YouTube channel. So it's going to remain a mystery. <laughs> Uh, got a haircut, bleached it, uh, pretty soon I'll be changing to another color, because no one really, uh, I've changed my hair color so much, the blonde is, I've overdid the blonde, once I change it to blue, it'll be more noticeable, anyways, um, I need to start setting goals, I do have a job interview next week so hopefully that goes well and I don't cancel it but this is a full-time position and it, it would pay more than my last job and hopefully have direct deposits so there's hope there but even if I did get it most likely I wouldn't jo uh, start that job until 2023 because uh, this year's basically almost over. <laughs> yes, it's almost over. And hopefully 2023 will go better. And um, I'm trying to speak up as loud as I can. I don't have a microphone for... I don't have I don't have the best audio. That's the reason why I have to make sure when I edit this video that the music that I put into it doesn't drown my voice out. Um, I don't want to be screaming in this video either. So, and also I'm trying to create a lot more um, content before this year is over. <laughs> So, how did your Christmas go? And what are your plans for 2023? Which is going to be coming soon. Whether you like it or not, you can't ever stop time. Time is something no one can defeat. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
Anyways, uh, uh, I think that's all I have to say about the pros and the cons, and uh, I need to start writing stuff down and uh, keeping track of stuff. Um, I think I need to start having some kind of financial plan where I'm not constantly overspending because I'm not only unemployed, but my employment benefits, uh, what I'm getting per week is really a little bit better than what I was getting at Fred Myers, but not by much. Um, I was hoping for a bigger amount, but it's, I guess it's better than nothing. I can't really complain, but I, the, all the issues I went with unemployment uh, to get my unemployment benefits really sucked. And if you're living in the U.S., getting unemployment is a huge pain now, just to warn you. If you ever have to get on unemployment nowadays because of all you have to approve your ID and all that stuff, it's a lot harder than how to apply it for it. The last time in 2018 when I got a, a general discharge out of the army, so... A lot has changed with the getting unemployment. A lot. Uh, I probably should be ending this before I go on and on and on. And I probably should find time this week, uh, this current week, to go see a movie. I haven't done that in a while. I need to start changing up my routine, and so I can have a really uh, great week. So. Ta-ta for now.